This video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. Let me show you how to create these amazing animations with AI. This will be the best workflow you'll come across. We will take still images and transform them into stunning storytelling scenes. I will show you how to do it step by step, even how to make them move their Peppa, lips according to your you? script. With this tutorial, you'll be able to generate anything you can imagine, making every creation unique to you. You can even produce them at an animation studio level if you dedicate the time and perfect the method. You'll be able to earn money on YouTube or even create these animations for clients if you wish. So if you need any help with your creations, join our Discord. Or if you want a comprehensive course on how to create cinematic and animation videos with AI. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Register your interest for our free crash course on toolengine.ai slash courses. It's completely free. All I ask is for you to like this video as it helps reach a wider audience and really supports the channel. So, let's start. Step 1. As with all great things, we start with an idea and chat GPT. Take your idea and be very specific and detailed about the style, mood and environment you want your animation to have. Remember, we are telling a story, so you need to convey that to your viewer. I will choose animation in the famous Japanese Ghibli Studio style. These films are among my favorite memories from childhood. Now that we have described our story to chat GPT, we will ask it to give us the scene sequence based on the duration of the film. I will request the scene sequence with sound effects. Remember, as helpful as chat GPT can be, the best results and the uniqueness of your creation will come from your own mind. Camera angles, music and sound editing all play a massive part in setting the scenes. Going down. There's no better place to find all of this than at Epidemic Sounds, who are kindly sponsoring this video. Epidemic Sound is outstanding. I've been utilizing their services since day one, specifically for my Balenciaga meme tutorial. It's undoubtedly one of the best investments I've made for this channel. They offer a vast library of royalty-free music that you can use in virtually any way you want for your videos. Epidemic owns 100% of the music they provide, ensuring there's zero risk of receiving a copyright strike for any of their tracks in the future. Their library boasts over 40,000 different tracks, spanning various moods and genres, along with more than 90,000 sound effects, which are very important for today's project. This allows you to incorporate diverse and engaging sound effects into your videos. They continually update their catalog each week, and all tracks are crafted by professional musicians. If you're considering trying Epidemic Sound, I highly recommend it. Click on the link in the video description for a free 30-day trial. Now, after we've gathered the scenes, we can ask ChatGPT to create prompts for each scene for mid-journey, which will be our second step. You can simply input the prompts and click Generate. If you have basic knowledge of mid-journey, you're good to go. If not, I'll include a free mid-journey guide in the description. If you want to use a free image generation tool, then Leonardo.ai is a great choice. I'll generate my images in 16 by 9 as I'm making the video for YouTube. A quick tip that will make your generations with Midjourney easier is the new Vary region. This is Midjourney's in-painting feature. It's best used when you have the remix mode activated. For instance, if the face in the image doesn't look like your character, just select that area and include a link of your reference image of the desired face in the remix prompt and hit submit. You'll eventually get the result you want without losing the other parts of the image you desired. It's very useful for capturing the perfect shot of your scene. Step 3. Here's where the magic happens. I've tried many image to video generators and frankly, with today's quality, I don't think they should charge for any generations. The two best ones are Gen 2 and Pika Labs. Runway's Gen 2 is really good, but since you'll rarely get what you want on the first try, and each scene will probably need over 10 generations, it's not worth the money in my opinion. That's why I'll choose Pika Labs. This tool is free and great, especially for the style I'm pursuing. Here are both side by side generated from the same image. I'd argue that Gen 2 is ideal for cinematic and realism, as the generations tend to lean towards that style after the first frame. Let's head over to the Pika Labs Discord server and go to any of the Generate channels. 
Here, type slash create and input your prompt. I usually use the same prompt that I used in mid-journey, but without the parameters. After you've entered your prompt, click on the plus one to upload your image for the scene. Before hitting enter, specify the movement you desire in the scene, like a gentle wind or a smile. I also recommend reading their prompt guide on their Discord. I often generate the same prompt multiple times since I know many results won't be what I'm looking for. Remember to check notifications and then mentions to find all your generated results in one place, ensuring you don't miss any. Once you have the desired scene, download it. Step 4. This is a quick step because I believe you already know how to generate voices with AI. I'll use 11 labs because it's excellent and relatively affordable. A helpful hint. If you don't want the hassle of cloning a custom voice, check out the community library. There are tons of great voices and I'm confident you'll find one that suits your character and gives it its own persona. Step 5. Now that we have the video of the scene and the voiceover, we need to sync them. There are several methods to do this. We can use DeepShot, which is a paid tool, or the open source Wave 2 lip on Google Colab, which I detail in this video. However, both these tools weren't able to recognize some of my characters' faces since they were cartoons. Thus, I'll use Lalamu Studio. This is a free and user-friendly tool. Just upload both your clip and the voiceover, then hit generate. The only downside is it exports in very low quality, but that's not an issue. You can easily upscale the quality using a video enhancer. Step 6. This step is optional and depends on the type of video you're creating. This is where we make the video generation smoother by using video interpolation. In simpler terms, the AI generates an extra frame between every two frames of your video. This can make your 30 frames per second videos become 60 frames per second for a smoother look. I'll put the link in the description as well. Step 7. The final step involves bringing everything together. With the most crucial components being music and sound effects. You can use any editing software you're comfortable with. I'll use CapCut because it's free. I will also utilize Epidemic Sound's vast sound effect library to set the scenes. Thank you for watching, and if you need a more detailed guide, don't forget to check out our free crash course on toolengine.ai courses. Here are the results.